these guys it's the real been here and I'm about to do a trailer breakdown for God of War game. Hey, you see the we go back. See uh, this part. You see uh, like a little foreshadow of uh Kratos going about to fight the uh the uh troll. See the uh, troll look thing toy and a uh, Spartan toy or Viking toy rather. So you see this Kratos the son. Boy Here you go skip ahead, uh uh, let's give ahead a little bit. Turn this up a little bit. I right, see. See, you know, we see Kratos. We see he's a little older. He has bigger beard. Like. So is this is confirmed to be after God of War three? So I am curious though, like how did he survive? You see the little scar right there of him when he stabbed himself. So I'm curious to see how he survived that. So it's basically now he's taking the boy to give him on a hunt. So especially see, you notice it's a very different gameplay than the other God of War games. Like it's very, he's very different. Like uh. You know, in this in this game, it, it seems like over the shoulder now, and you see that he's is this supposed to be like this supposed to be like a tutorial around the start of the game. This way, I mean, so see right here, see knowledge gained you know, right here. So it's I guess now it's saying that you can learn new skills as you play the game and it's supposed to be like a semi open world in a way it's very different from traditional God of War games and we can skip ahead a little bit see you start to see tracks uh, I see this part he's son of Mr. Vieira you see Chris is rage meter See when he starts yelling at his son, his Spartan rage meter starts to starts to fill up. So I'm curious to see like what this means, but yeah, overall this does look like a pretty good game. And you see, she knows he starts to calm down and it starts to go down. See, and it's also like see how far Kratos has become because he's like. He's, she's trying to get pissed at him. So, so. Do not be sorry. Be better. <laughs> Find it. I skip ahead a little bit. I see that these. Now that we see that they're in Norse mythology now, instead of the North, Norse guys now. I see. Let's go back. See, you know, Kratos. He has a little ice axe and this little demon fires. Uh, made of fire. So, uh, oh, we got. Yeah, just brutally kills him. They see what he's about to do. Throw it at him. He goes and just twenty pieces in the corner. Skip ahead a little bit. I uh, see right here. You got to fight the troll. You 
no homo. So. Here's a chance. Show me already. See, you still see the epic combat you see and usually see in God of War. I see his little rage meter feeling good. We're gonna see what he does with that in a minute. He uses ice axe and stagger enemies. It is time. I will bring it down. You will kill it. Oh shit. I'm waiting until you stop attacking. See you see right here? See spot where it stabbed itself in God of War 3. See that part right there. Alright, we can skip ahead a little bit now. Alright, see what right So, I guess it's gonna be like a Joel and Ellie type of relationship where, where Chris's son is kind of like a s secondary character. And we see, I guess, it's very different Kratos than we see in God of, other God of War games. You see that that he's more wiser, more a little more calmer now. Now, we have to see this new area, and that part right there looks like at least what used to be Mount Olympus. So did Kratos, when he caused the flood and destroyed everything, did he somehow create the Norse mythology in some way? And, because it looks like this whole world is just covered by water. Because yeah, that water, it looks like water is very high up. And maybe I'm just tweaking. You know, Kratos says he's ready, maybe to take on the Norse guys with him. 
So yeah, like it seems like this water is very.